let's not get angry yet. Welcome back queens, it's your girl Jess. So today's video is all about cannabis. Not about smoking it or eating it or whatever the hell it is, but putting it on your face and seeing if it smells and seeing what it does to your skin. Let's go. <laughs> so BYS has come out with a calming prime and fix cannabis sativa seed oil. I only found out a few weeks ago that there are different, um, how do I put this? There are different like cannabis kind of things. So there's sativa, there's other things. And I was like, oh, I only kind of thought there was one. And they're like, no, there's different ones for different things. So we learned something new. So this is the cannabis wipe. This is a uh, cannabis sativa seed oil purifying wipes. I don't use wipes, although I just read the back and it says it's biodegradable face wipes, which is actually quite good. I give them a little clap. So they are made with 100% renewable plant fibers to be kinder to the planet. And we want things that are kinder to the planet. So I don't usually purchase wipes just because I like balms or cleansers. I just think you buy a wipe and not long after you need a new one, right? So that's just my preference. Although because I got this sent to me, I am going to smell her and I'm going to see how it is, how it feels. Because there are some wipes that are really like... um. They're grainy and it freaking hurts. Oh my God, I don't recommend that. Then, this isn't cannabis though, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, this is the Harmony palette. Now, I'm gonna show you the colors. These are the colors. So on my hand, we've got all the colors. So we've got some metallics. Can I just say, BYS has kind of upgraded. Like, I used to use this when I was starting out makeup, like when I was 15. 15 or 16 and I used to think like oh my god BYS what a brand because like you could find that in Target Kmart everywhere and I'm like so impressed at how nice these shades are so obviously it's not for an everyday look you've got your metallic which I think came out really nice you got some shimmery shades then you got some blues and you got this really nice pretty shade oh my god so they that's how they swatched and i only used one swipe i didn't swipe 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 which is what i usually do for other brands but i was like yeah this is 14 dollars it retails for so i think this would be really perfect for anyone starting out makeup or if you just want like a fun kit to play you could even really use this on your bridal clients because it actually has some really nice metallic shades on top of the gray. I love the gray shade. I think it, it worked really well. Um, although it's more for the shimmery shades I would use on the brides. I can't put blue on them because I don't know how that would work. So I'm going to test it on my eyes and I'm going to show you two different looks. I want to do one natural look and then one not so natural look. And let's see the the blendable ality of it let's see how they pack on let's see the let's see okay i'm gonna go in with the priming um uh, primer fix let's see how she smells i'm really excited maybe i might get a bit high <laughs> i hope i can say that oh my god wait <laughs> This smells so good. I don't know if it smells like cannabis, but if it does, that is a freaking nice smell. I am I'm impressed with this. This is actually a really nice smell. The only thing is you gotta like really push it down, but it really spritz everywhere. You know those ones that just shoot at you? This doesn't shoot at you, so I'm I'm quite impressed. I'm gonna use the wipe. It actually does feel very soft. And I'm just gonna wipe everything off my hand. See how well she does. Okay, so it doesn't hurt my hand, which is good. Some wipes usually make me feel very red. They, I get red, not feel red. <laughs> how can you feel red? No one knows. Okay, so that's the hand that I had the stuff on and that's my other hand. So it came off pretty nicely. Do you reckon if I sniff it enough, I might get a bit woozy? This doesn't smell like cannabis, which is a shame, but that's okay. I don't think it's legal. <laughs> Colorful side first, which is gonna be this side. I'm thinking, cause I already used this shade. So let's not use Sky, let's use, oh my God, how funny, Azua. That's actually one of my 
friend's name. She was on this channel. If you want to watch a video, I'll look it up here. So let's go in with Azua. I'm going to start by packing it on. Okay, can you see that there's not that much fallout? The real test is when you start blending it out. I feel like if it goes the color, then you know it's like not the best. I mean, I am really not mad at that. There are some palettes that are more expensive that I have that don't even have and hold pigment like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend it out. Now this brush is kind of stained. So it actually doesn't have any pigment on it, but I'm, I'm kind of nervous, but I'm excited. Let's do it. Start by very lightly blending. Let's see. Is the color going? Is it even blending? Hold on. It kind of faded, but wait, let's just, let's not get angry yet. I'm going to go back in with the Azure because it did kind of blend. It just kind of faded as well, which is a little bit upsetting, but we just go back. So do you see like the difference when you blend it? I want to take now Deep Ocean. It's a deeper blue. So there's kind of a lot of fallout with that one. And I'm going to put that just here. Kind of deep in my eye a bit. I'm using the same brush. Now what I'm going to do is, because this is what I usually do, is I'm going to take a little bit of the Azua on my blending brush. And I'm going to start blending this out. And let's hope and pray that it doesn't do what it did before. I'm taking a very light hand. Okay, here's what I'm a bit confused about. The dark blue kind of blended out. But it faded completely there. So I'm just going to go in again. That was actually sad. Okay, I'm taking another blending brush. This has nothing on it. I know it does. It looks like it does, but it doesn't. And I'm very lightly going to blend the top. I want to, I really want to use this gray shade. I don't know. It just it's been catching my eye for a minute. So let's put it on. I'm going to start packing that on. See, the thing is they come on really nicely. Like that is a really nice gray. This as well doesn't have that much fallout, which is quite impressive. I'm going to go in with Immerse. It's a really nice shade. And I'm just going to start by... Hmm. I'm going to go in with Hint. I like that color more. Oh, okay. And I'm just going to start by... I'm going to try with my finger. Oh, with your finger, so much nicer. How nice is that? <gasps> I really like that. Okay, before I get way too excited, but I really like this one. Really, really like this one. I'm going to go in back in with that grain. Grain. <laughs> I'm going to go back in with the gray shade on this blending brush. And I'm going to just start blending the top just so it looks a bit like nicer. And not as harsh. I feel like the grey shade blends out way nicer. And when I go back in with Hint on my finger, I really recommend using your finger. And because it kind of just like when I blended it out, that shimmer went. I'm just literally going to... Oh. Blend. I really think using your fingers on this one. I really like that. So far, I'm liking it. I still have some opinions. Let me do the rest of my face and we'll come back and then we'll assess everything. All right, I'm back. So I have my full face on. Now, initial thoughts. The purifying wipes, like I said, I will use them because I got them sent to me and they are good for the environment. Um, so that's a big bonus. I'm so proud that BYS has actually done that. So good on you. The cannabis. Hold on. So this little spray thing, I'm just going to end up spraying the rest of my face. So I never finish it off with it. it smells so good, guys. It 
smells fresh. It does not smell like cannabis at all. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you like an update if I end up getting a bit woozy at the end of the day. But anyway, um, this actually smells really good. I do like the way it spritz. The only thing is like pressing out. I feel like I'm giving my finger a little workout, but that's okay. That's okay. So with the palette now, I don't know if you can notice on this eye, I ended up putting a bit of the metallic shade because I'm like, I need to stop spice that up a little bit. I personally love, love, love all of the shimmers. I feel like they go on super well. Um, and I personally think when you blend it out with your finger, it actually looks so much better as opposed to when you blend it out with the brush. So I would recommend blending it out with your finger. I really did like the gray shade. I loved all of these shimmer shades. This one was nice as well, and so was that one. I haven't played with this one yet, although it did look really nice on my hand. The blues, I feel like this one was quite nice on when I did put it on. I feel like Azua and Deep Ocean were really nice when they come on. The way they blend though, I feel like it kind of fades out a little bit. So you just have to go back in and pack it on a little bit. Although I really am so impressed with how it turned out. I also put it on the bottom of my eyes because I'm like, we need to spice that up. But I would really recommend this palette to anyone who is starting makeup or if you want something affordable, um, just be mindful when you're blending it out to use another shade and to go very lightly, you will have to probably go back and pack. Although I have, you know, let's, let's be real right now. If we're comparing this palette to Morphe, I feel like this palette does just as well, if not a little bit better, only because I feel like with Morphe, there's so much fallout and you really have to go in to pack that on. Whereas with these ones, they went on pretty well. I'm very impressed and surprised. I would rate this about, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I think out of 10, I would give it about a six, six or seven. You know, and this is just coming from a professional makeup artist. Like I would use these more of the shimmers though. Um, and this blue and gray shade I really like. But yeah, I for $14, I think this palette is really, really, really high performing. I'm very impressed by them. This is not a paid sponsorship, so I can actually say whatever I want. I was just genuinely impressed. I am obsessed with this gray shade, guys. I feel like we can do so many cute things with that. Just saying. But that is my final thoughts on the review. I do feel like for $14, you can't really go wrong, especially if you just want to play with makeup and experiment. Um, I would always recommend going in with a primer. There's something like, oh. oh, is it out? It's like one of those really deadly Thank you, my beautiful queens, for watching. Make sure you keep slaying and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And let me know down below what you want me to review next. I love reviewing drugstore products. I have so many more that I want to review because I really feel like it's better to get affordable products, especially for everyday use, as opposed to, let's say, like $70 or $60 on something that we might not even use more than once or twice a week, if that. You know what I mean? So I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you've tried this palette, everything will be linked down below. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.